Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Saturday, and what do we do every Saturday? Garden Tour Saturday. Yes, Garden Tour. I'm going to share my garden with you and share with you what's blooming, what's growing, and what do we have new to eat. And, of course, my three great co-hosts is Patricia, a wonderful, wonderful friend and does a wonderful job gardening. Susan, another great channel. Go check her out in Growing on Vancouver Island. All three channels have beautiful gardens and they always share what they're doing. They're all living in different parts of the world and they have different climates. And you can see that everyone can grow some kind of a garden where it's freezing cold or warm like where I live. But there's always a garden in our future. Please think about joining in with us and joining in anytime on Saturday. Just use hashtag Garden Tour Saturday and share what you're growing in your garden. Every week you walk around and see something new and different. Things you didn't even notice coming up until they are in bloom. Here is one of my carrots that's come up and is now blooming some beautiful flowers. They look like Queen Anne lace, but they're carrots. Can you believe it? These are the flowers of carrots. I'm always amazed by all the beauty they bring me and how wonderful they always look in my garden. This is why I love gardening. There's always something new and different in the garden. There's never a single day or two that there isn't some kind of a change in the garden. Even when things are very similar, there's still a difference, still beauty that nature always brings us. And even though we're finally sort of working our way through the other part of summer, it's been a really hot, hot summer. And the last couple of weeks have just been brutal on top of all the terrible fires we've been having out here. So it's nice to get out on a nice, cool, crisp morning for a change. Like I said, it's always something different in the garden. Always something new blooming, something new coming up. Hard to believe I still have strawberries in my strawberry garden. Oh my gosh, I just love these strawberries. I picked these all up from Costco and I can't believe how long they bloom and produce fruit. Still have beautiful flowers coming up for more strawberries. Can you believe? More strawberries still to eat. They've been producing strawberries for it seems like at least four or five months. These are the best strawberries that I got at Costco. Morning glories wrapping their stems around my fence in the front yard. Now hard to believe I pull these out every year and they just keep coming back. They are beautiful when you see them along the fence, but if you don't watch it, they wrap themselves around every plant you have and choke the life out of them. So I gotta get in here this week and get these pulled out. The garden gets away from me. It's been so hot the last two weeks. I haven't had a chance to get out here and do any cleaning. So now that it's starting to cool off, I'm gonna have to get out here and see if we can get some of these things pulled out. Morning glories are some beautiful plants, but they are just too invasive for me. great thing about the garden every time you come out there's always something new that you can share something coming up something blooming something dying can't wait to see what this plant here is going to have on it anytime i'm sure we're going to get some blooms are these not beautiful i love the color of these this was the last plant that my grandson gave me before he passed away. I need to get it somewhere in the garden to make sure I'll have it for years to come. 
here's something else blooming in my garden. And I wanted to share with you, if you can believe it, I still have blackberries coming on my plants. There's always something in my garden to eat. There's always something in my garden. Always enjoy coming out and seeing what I can find. And here's some more California poppies out in the front yard and still blooming too. It's late in the season, but there's always something blue. It's hard to believe in this terrible hot summer. Well, it's September now, but here it doesn't cool off until October, but still plants find some way to come up and bloom. Well, it looks like we have some new flowers blooming out. That's what I love about my garden. There's always something new in the garden opening up. As one thing is dying, something else new is coming up. We still have flowers blooming. <coughs> Sorry, the dog even scared me. There's some more new flowers coming up, but we have a lot that I need to deadhead as you can see. I'm gonna walk around the garden and do a slideshow of what's blooming. And I can tell you, it's not, not much is blooming right now. It's been over a hundred degrees all week. Got fires in our mountains and so hot and the air quality is so bad. So sit down with your cup of tea and watch the slideshow, what's blooming in my garden and see you next week for Garden Tour Saturday, my dear friends. I at least have one new day lily to share with you today.
Thank you. 